This is a Nespresso Citise and Milk coffee machine. I'm going to show you what comes in the box. Then we're going to set this up and make some coffee. Here we've got the manual. Then first I pull out the drip tray. Next I pull out the selection of coffees from Nespresso. Different flavours and strengths in that one. Here's the information about their coffee, which I'll show you inside these books at the end of the video. And here you've got the milk frother. This has a hot or cold option and it also spins to froth your milk. Now I'm going to pull out the rest of the machine. Now inside the milk frother container, the little nipple that sticks up is magnetic, which allows this mixer with the frothing spring to be easily attached and detached. And this is what will spin and froth your milk. Press the button once for hot and hold down for two seconds for cold. Here you can see the base where this connects to the base connector. As you see, it's easy to attach and detach for cleaning. On the back, we have the water tank, which can hold up to one litre. This machine comes in black, white, red and chrome. Fill your milk up to one of the two max levels, depending on how much milk you need from your choice of coffee. This is the espresso button for 40 ml. This is the Lungo button for 110 ml. Here's where you'll lift the lever up and insert your pods and then close again. And here's a drip grill to support a smaller cup. And here you can remove the drip tray to remove the water when needed. Once you lift the lever after use, the capsules will drop into this capsule container which can hold up to 11 capsules. To turn the machine on, press any of the buttons. It'll flash green and then once it's ready it'll be solid green. You can pick from any of the 14 pods that come with it. I've bought some Starbucks pods. I find the Pike is my favourite. Before putting the pod in, press the Lungo button just to rinse water through the machine to give it a good clean. Now I'm going to add my milk. Which for a latte I fill up to the top max line. Which I'm going to press once to heat and spin the milk. This will be flashing red for 60 seconds and it will show red light once done. Now I'm going to grab one of my coffee pods, insert into the machine and press the Longo button. Then we'll try the process again just by pressing the Espresso button. Here you can see your frothed up milk, but if this is too frothy for how you like your coffee, you can remove the froth in the spring, no problem. Now as you lift up the lever, it's going to drop the pod into the pod container. And I notice water also drops into this container. So when removing the capsules, you also need to remove the water as well. After each use, I press the longer button to clean the machine. And that's it, your coffee's ready to drink. And for me, it makes a lovely coffee every time. Then press both buttons together to turn the machine off. Now, if you don't like the milk too frothy, you can remove the foaming spring off of the mixer and enjoy your coffee with less foam. And if you ever lose or damage the mixer, you can get them on Amazon for around six to seven pounds. Now I'm gonna make another coffee without the frothing spring. And I'm also gonna use the espresso button to make the latte. Now you'll see with the milk this time, there's a lot less foam. This is how I prefer to drink my coffee. And after each use, I run hot water through the machine again, just to clear it out. And here you'll see the capsules after use. Usable pods, which allows you to add in your own grounded coffee. If the coffee you like are not made in these pods, it comes with two reusable pods and a hundred stick-on lids. I may look to do a whole video on these reusable pods itself. Thanks for watching. I'll leave links and information in the description below. Subscribe and like. Welcome to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.